I'm curious. I never actually found out. Can you just, like, give him stealth boys that you have in your inventory? Antler sings for stealth boys. Have you found them? Oh, no. Keep looking. Antler wants Nightkin to have them. That would be too easy. I think if you do something with this, he'll immediately aggro onto you. So let's not do that. Alright, so now we go into this room. Which is where the ghoul he was talking about is at. Come and get it, you big dumb. Hey, you're not one of those things out there. Who the hell are you? Jason sent me down here to get rid of the demons. And I bet he told you it's the creator's will for you to risk your ass instead of him, right? Well, good luck with that. I'd give you a hand, but no thanks. I may look like a corpse, but I'm partial to living. How did you end up trapped down here? First off, I'm not trapped. This was a tactical choice, all right? I'm no match for those things out there. So I found a good defensive position, and I've been defending it, right? Oh, who am I fooling? I'm trapped. Name's Harlan. Pleased to meet you. What happened was, I was escorting folks down to work when those things attacked us. Most of the fight was upstairs. But some folks panicked and made for the basement, and I went after them. Well, turns out there were even more of those bastards down here than upstairs. And things went to shit fast. I couldn't find the others. So I fell back to this room, set up a nice little kill zone. End of story. You don't look like the other ghouls from Bright's group. Guess the outfit gives that away, huh? I never did buy into that religious mumbo-jumbo with the robes and all that shit. It gets lonely out in the wastes, okay? And I don't have to tell you that Bright's group has got some fine-looking ghoulettes in it. Huh. Or maybe I would have to tell you. Anyway, I helped them out. And they kept me supplied with ammo and pleasant company. Hmm. Yeah, let's not choose that. How have you survived? I'm not delicate. Rad roach meat for protein, condensation off the pipes for water, and I do my business over in the far corner. I wouldn't say it's been comfy. Hmm. How can I help get you out of this room? Huh. Well, you're polite. I'll give you that. If this was just between you and me, I'd do as you ask. But it's not. I had a friend with me when those mutant bastards came out of nowheres. She panicked and ran the wrong direction. Further into the basement, she's probably dead. But I ain't leaving until I know for sure. I'd have gone looking myself, except I wouldn't last a minute out there. You, on the other hand, seem pretty resourceful. Find my friend, and I'll get out of your way. I'll try to find your friend. Thanks. Let me know what you find out. Here's hoping she's okay. Alright, so in order to get the Nightkin out, I have to find the Stealth Boys, which are in here, but I can't get in here because this dude wants me to find his friend. Craziness. Alright. Eddie, for safety's sake, wait here. I don't need you going around aggroing everything. I would like to try and do this without killing everything. Oh, damn it. Crap. Uh, what's... What's quick load? <laughs> what's quick load in this game? I'm just curious. It's always different, and I don't want to go... No, that's not right. It's always different from game to game, and I don't want to go pressing the wrong thing. F9. Okay. 
Yeah, my stealth might be a little too low for this. And I kind of don't want to use stealth boys. I'm a stubborn bastard like that. I see you. Damn it. Alright, screw it. I'm using stealth boys. Let's go ahead and use it now. How many do I have? I should have more than enough. Yeah. Alright, you're freaking me out. I ran right into him. I'm surprised that he didn't just aggro anyway. I don't remember if there's an indicator that Stealth Boy is about to run out. I don't think there is. So if the Stealth Boy runs out and I'm right in front of a mutant, that is not going to work out well for me. Right, there's a key somewhere around here. Go on. Alright. There should be a key in here somewhere. Bottle cap. Cool. Ah, oh, there it is. Just wears off by itself. There we go. Jail key. Alright, use another one. It's probably the only time in the game I'm actually going to get used out of using Stealth Boys. Right, let's just... Find the body and get out. Here it is. All right, let them know the bad news. I kind of want to just get up and run and not crouch the whole way. But it's probably not safe. Damn it, you would be right in my way, wouldn't you? So, so far I haven't noticed my headphones acting up again. Which is strange. It's completely random. Sometimes it does it, sometimes it doesn't. Oh god, please don't run out now. Oh. 
I think I might be okay. Hmm. Yeah, okay. So it was a good thing I didn't waste one. There was one right there, apparently. Why is it showing up now? That's weird. Oh, no, wait, no. I don't want to go down here. Talk to Harlan first. What's up, Eddie? Did you find my friend? Yes, unfortunately. I see. Well, spare me the details. Damn it. I'm gonna miss that crooked yellow smile. All right. You did your part, so I'll do mine. Look around up here if you want. I'm gonna make a break for topside. Good luck with that. All right, Eddie. Let's do it. I also need to be careful because there are a lot of traps down here. Like that. Concealed mine. That I can't do anything with. Save. Oh, delicious red roach meat. Look at all these crates. Most of them are empty, though. That sucks. Shipment mistake. This is what we're looking for. Came here by mistake. Shipment sent back. Yeah, so the shipment stealth boys have been returned. So they're not here anymore at all. Why is the Nightkin thing showing up? That's weird. Jump over the mine. All right, Davidson, it's done. Antler sings for stealth boys. Have you found them? Personal space, bro. There's no stockpile of stealth boys in this building. Liar! The envoy said stealth boys here. Antler read it out loud to me. The stealth boys were sent here by mistake, then sent back. But invoice note said stealth boys were here. Why can't that note be true? What, Antler? But human could be lying. Is stealing the stealth boys for itself. Oh, Antler, you trust so easy. Your lucky day, human. Antler, believe you. Nikon will follow the new note to find stealth boys. Better be there. All right. Well, there we go. Took care of the Nikon problem. I didn't have to kill any of them. That first one, technically, I didn't kill, so... Shouldn't count. So let's go and let Jason know the good news. I can find him, that is. He always wanders around everywhere. Evening. There you are. Is the way clear? The demons are gone. Praise the Creator and bless you, Wanderer. The way is clear. I will lead my flock through the basement to the sacred site. I hope you will come find us there, Wanderer. There is much to be done. Is there? Wait. 
Wait. God damn, they're fast. What the hell? One of them already turned into a spacesuit. Oh my god. Ah, I beat you. Alright, so now I gotta walk all the way up past where I was before to continue the quest. The hell with the loot containers. So much junk on the ground. And I am tempted to look through it. But that would take too long. So, tell that. Oh yeah, I need to be careful around here. I remember falling through the floor at some point. There's nothing here. In fact, I think it was in this room right here. This useless little generator closet room. I don't know what I did, but there was a part where I just fell straight through the floor. I kind of want to replicate that if I can. But I don't know how I did it. I was just walking around normally and all of a sudden, down I go. Ah, it's very weird. Oh well. Empty. Uh, reloading bench? No. I was hoping there was a workbench in there so I could see what the weapon repair kit recipe was. I'm still uh, curious. There we go. Let's see. Uh, so, oh my god. That's a glitch. Duct tape, scrap electronics, scrap metal, wonder glue, and a wrench. I don't think I'll be making use of that, but... My curiosity has been satisfied. I needed to speak with you one last time before I descended to the launch pad, Wanderer. I want you to know that we will remember for all eternity how you delivered us to the threshold of the Great Journey. Our preparations are nearly complete, but the rockets that will carry us to salvation are yet missing vital components. If you would still help us, Wanderer, speak to Chris. He can tell you what is missing. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Cool. What's the great journey? We wish to escape the barbarity of the wasteland, especially the violence and bigotry of its human inhabitants. The Creator has promised to my flock a new land, a place of safety and healing. A paradise in the far beyond. Preparations for the Great Journey were nearly complete when the demons appeared. Hmm. Are you seriously going to make your Great Journey on those rockets? Yes. The rockets will convey us to our promised land in the far beyond. Vision upon vision has confirmed it. Those rockets will convey you and your flock straight into the ground. I understand your concerns, friend, and I thank you for voicing them. But the Creator's will for us has been made manifest. You crazy bastard. What is the far beyond? I have glimpsed it only in visions, Wanderer, but what I have seen is truly miraculous. It is a place of light and healing, and I know in my soul that my flock will be safe there. Let's talk about Chris. After all that you have done for us, I suppose you deserve to know everything. When Chris came to us, we tried to convince him that he was human. But this only angered him. He seemed... lost. We decided to let him stay with us for a few days, 
over the course of which we learned that his technical skills far surpassed our own. It became clear that the Creator had sent him to us to ensure the success of the great journey. Equally clear was that Chris should labor in blessed ignorance of his humanity and his inability to make the journey himself. It is no coincidence that two humans have been vital to the success of the great journey. It is my belief that the Creator sent you and Chris to expiate the sins of your kind against mine. Your Redeemers both. How exciting. So you're going to leave, leave Chris behind? Such is the Creator's will. Vision upon vision has shown me that were Chris to accompany us, he would die in minutes. The radiation around the launch pad alone would kill Chris in minutes. The radioactivity of the far beyond is much stronger. Hmm. You've been using Chris, it's despicable. It is the Creator's will, and I must submit. There is no malice in it. We would take him with us if we could. I guess it's fair enough. Goodbye. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Alright, so let's talk to Chris. Jason says that I am to cooperate with you on the final tasks necessary to launch the Great Journey. What do you do here? I'm the Flock's resident engineer. I've always been good with machines. Jason says the Great Journey would have been impossible without me. Of course, my skills aren't much use unless I have the right materials. That's where you come in. Hmm. Why don't they let you work down on the launch pad? When I joined the flock, Jason made it clear that he wanted me to supervise the repairs, not do them myself. It would be a waste of my gifts to work on just one system at a time. From up here, I've been able to supervise the entire project. Hmm. Should I try and convince him now? Let's see what happens. The radiation down there would kill you, Chris, because you're human. I thought we were past all that smooth skin, but you just can't resist the chance to mess with me. Typical human. I was human once, you know. Grew up in Vault 34, northeast of here. Nice upbringing if you like assault rifles and target practice, but oh, you prefer machines that don't shoot people? Not so nice then. Who should maintain the Vault's reactor? Hauser? Mitchell, no. Make it Haversome. He likes machines. Haversome won't mind getting irradiated. Haversome won't mind mutating. He's already ugly as it is. Haversome won't mind when his hair starts falling out after a few years. There's no connection, Haversome. You're neurotic. Hmm. So you left your vault because you were going bald? Bald? You call this bald, smooth skin? I'm a monster. A monster! This dude is crazy. And I have not nearly enough speech to do this. So the Great Journey will use those rockets. Obviously. It's taken months, but I've nearly got them in working order. Soon they'll take us to the far beyond. I was skeptical at first, of course, being a man of science. But Jason is certain, and I believe in Jason. Mm hmm How can I help? I was close to completing work on the rockets before we were driven into hiding on the top floor. Two components were missing. A quantity of isotope 239 igniting agent, and a set of thrust control modules. The igniting agent is highly radioactive and decays quickly. That's why we can't use the drums that leak down on the launch pad. It's no longer potent enough. I need you to find an intact, shielded container of the igniting agent. As for the thrust control modules, they were custom-built for these rockets. They won't even launch without them. Well, that's good. I'll track down the igniting agent. Very well. We don't need a huge amount. Two to three liters should be enough. I can't do both at the same time. 
Well, I suppose I could. I know where they both are. Alright, let's do it. Later. Bye.